to read a nice rhyming book. It's called Possum One, The Outback Rocket Ship. And it's, the poem is written by Dan Valley and the pictures are by Yvonne Perrin. It was a Monday afternoon on the 23rd of June when in Possum Creek a strange event occurred. Striding into town in his mortarboard and gown came Professor Cockatoo, that learned bird. There he is. Looks like he's very clever indeed. There's a koala, two koalas in the tree. All Australian animals. Ed Galar, who was related, upon conferring, indicated that his cousin was the bearer of great news, which he would gladly tell to all in the Possum Creek Town Hall. Post haste, for there was little time to lose. He's saying, hurry up, we've got to go and hear the news. There's that platypus. There's the kangaroo with the joey in the pouch. Within seconds all were seated and the professor warmly greeted as he rose to get proceedings underway. Friends and neighbours, he began, I have a most exciting plan which I will now unfold before you, if I may. He's telling all the animals what his idea is and what they're going to be doing. I have built a rocket ship which will be leaving on a trip very shortly but I have a need of you. A number of your best must face their greatest test and volunteer to be my rocket crew. So you say who wants to come on the rocket ship with me and the kangaroo saying I will and the other possum saying I will. There they are and the platypus says I will. In an hour, the recruits were putting on their suits, Wally Wombat, Platypus and Ed Galar. Big Red Kangaroo and Peter Possum too, all bound for some enticing distant star. So they're putting on their space suits, ready to go up in a rocket. They could feel the tension mount as they began the final count. Two seconds, one and then a mighty roar. As they rose into the sky, they sighed a nervous sigh and hoped that they would see their homes once more. There's the rocket ship going right up high. Then with a rolling motion, as if upon an ocean, she veered away from her intended course. Back towards the ground, she came with dreadful sound and frightened Tommy Numbutt's trotting horse. So the rocket ship's coming back to earth and it's frightening the horse in the field. Once more on level plain, she roared down Emu Lane and swept the tiles from Tim Koala's house. The crew in disarray watched in great dismay as the wayward rocket chased marsupial mouse. So they were, the rocket's going down so fast it's chasing after the little mouse. Can you see? Through the bakery she ploughed, enveloping the crowd with a coat of flour to everyone's surprise. And Mrs. Tiger Snake was knocked into the lake after being struck by several peanut pies. She screamed left at Dingo Road and ran the posh abode of the Honourable George Goanna, man of leisure, then carved a gaping path right through his marble bath while he was in it, much to his displeasure. It's gone right through the bath, the rocket ship. On and on she sped as the mayor stood hands on head for the only house still standing was his own. Then her engine coughed 
and died, and as his worship cried, she dropped upon his cottage like a stone. So she also, the rocket fell on his cottage, and he's going to cry. There's nothing left now. As we came upon the scene where the mayoral house had been, the rocket crew were stumbling from the wreck. With luck that was amazing, injuries were limited to grazing and a rather minor case of cricket neck. Thus the saga ended in a manner not intended and even though disaster dogged their trip, they raised a statue to it and the gallant crew who flew it Possum won the Outback rocket ship. So they made a nice statue there of the rocket ship to remember all the people that had flown in it. That was a nice story, wasn't it, about a rocket ship? And it's to do with all the animals that are in Australia. The koalas, the kookaburras, the possums, the platypuses, kangaroos. Oh, what a lovely story. Thank you for sharing that story with me today. Thank you for joining me today for that lovely story, Possum One, the Outback Rocket Ship. A lovely rhyming story. If you'd like to comment below, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what other books you'd like me to read to you. And then we can meet again on another story.